Team USA were beaten by France at the Tokyo Olympics on Sunday, but, as this video proves, their loss to the underdogs was far from the only talking point. France's thunder was partly stolen by a hoop-shooting robot who wowed viewers during the halftime show with its skills. The 6 feet 10 inches machine, designed by Toyota and called Q, sank a basket from the free throw line, hit a three-pointer and even managed to sink one from half court. Predictably, the Team USA jokes followed. The basketball robot needs a roster spot on Team USA with how we are playing, Daniel Harrod wrote. Team USA basketball could use this robot on the roster right now, Chris Graham added. While the Tokyo Olympics provided the biggest stage for Q to show off its skills, it is far from the first time Toyota has shown off its mechanical athlete. One of its first appearances came in 2018 when it was 7 inches shorter than it is now and competed with Arvel Tokyo, a team in Japan's top basketball league, at making free throws. It then reappeared the following year to set a Guinness World Record by throwing 2020 consecutive free throws without any misses, a nod to the 2020 Games. The version of Q which appeared at halftime on Sunday is much improved over early versions, which were attached to platforms and other rigs which supported the robot and contained part of its mechanics. On Sunday, the version of Q that Toyota wheeled out was freestanding and able to move itself around the court using wheels mounted in its shoes, a feat it showed off by moving around the court for each of its shots. The robot pulls off its feet by using a range of sensors, 3D mapping technology and algorithms to figure out where the basket is located and line up its shot. It then adjusts motors in its arms and legs to create the perfect angle and apply just the right amount of force to make the shot. While the hoop shooting robot has proved a crowd pleaser, its designers say it has helped them understand how to build robots that can accurately mimic human movement which has multiple practical uses. Such robots could ultimately end up doing hard labor jobs which are arduous for people to do, such as picking crops, making deliveries, and working in factories. Designers say Q's name is nod to these practical implications, reflecting the idea the technology can serve as a cue, or signal of great things to come. It is far from the only robot that Toyota has been working on, having previously showed off one that can play the violin. Toyota's rival Honda has Osimo, a culmination of research into creating a walking robot that started in the 1980s. It not only can run, but also recognize faces, avoid obstacles, shake hands, pour a drink and carry a tray. 